Alright, g'day guys. So working again with RealMarks tonight, I thought I'd make a video on uh, the sort of functionality that you've got when you're working with maps. Um, obviously maps are a fairly large part of um, what you use as a dungeon master, whether you're running a dungeon or um, maybe trawling through a town or even just going over overland map. There's generally a map for what you're doing um, and you know it plays a vital role in what we do. So let's jump in and see what sort of functionality RealMarks offers us. Alright, there we go. So we've got Realmworks running in front of me. Um, I just want to quickly note that this is the beta version of Realmworks, so just be aware that there are some icons that you might see um, that you don't have in your own version. Please don't worry about those, I, I can't show you what they do, um, but uh, just be aware that they're there and you know, just because you don't see them there's not a problem with your own version. Um, but back to, back to pictures, um, or maps, sorry. This is Realmworks running. You can see obviously I've got all my topics on the left. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in a, uh, a simple um, map into this picture here. And you'll see here what I'm doing is I'm, I'm working with um, working with the basic picture snippet there. Don't have to, I just want to show you how it works. Alright, so this is just a picture and you can obviously upload a map into the picture um, and you get basic functionality like zooming in, um, expand a screen all right, and you can move around. Very very simple and if you've just got a simple map that might be all you need um, but there is a better tool so if we go add snippet below instead of doing a picture we're going to go a smart image and now these are a lot a lot stronger so let's have a look. So we'll paste in the map again We'll save it. All right, now look at all the extra options you get on your bar here. So there's some very powerful tools here, specifically pinning. Pinning is great. You can add a pin here. Pin description and pin gem description. So you can pin stuff and put information in there. And then when you're basically looking at your map, you can hold your mouse over and you can see what pops up. So that's obviously useful in itself. But more useful is the ability to uh, link your content. So this button here that says no associated content, we click that. And then we can actually go through and click on anything that exists that we've made, any articles um, that we've made previously, we can go ahead and link them to. So let's link to the boat. All right, and the difference now is we can obviously hold our mouse over and it, it picks up the name. I could put in descriptions just like I did before, but I can now click that pin. And that when I click that pin, it will take me through to the uh, associated content. Sorry, I need to be in that view there for the pinning to work. All right, so when I click it, it goes straight through and follows through um, to whatever you linked it to. So obviously that's, that's handy. Um, imagine if you're running a dungeon and you've got a room um, in your dungeon and you create an article for each room and you link each room up to a pin you know that means you can literally have your map up as you're playing um, which is which is great all right but there is more functionality to these maps so let's have a look at that all right what i'm doing now is i'm, I'm showing the fact that the reveal mask is on so if your players had come along uh, for the first time and they discover this you can actually reveal it um, or you can come in here and you can even use a paintbrush you know, the players might just have only found this section here. All right, and obviously you can uh, you can reveal things so that your players can see them. Now, you might be asking yourself, oh, that's great, I could use this as a virtual tabletop. And yes, you could. Um, you could basically set up an extra screen attached to your, your uh, machine. Uh, it could be connected to a TV, could be connected to a projector and you could display these maps on the player view all right and that way um, you could then use this functionality here to show what the players have seen um, or you might not be using it as a VTT you, you might be actually um, updating your map uh, of a dungeon so that you know mid session uh, the players can actually come in and, and do some research on what they've seen so far there's all sorts of uses for it um, but it's there it's it's not as powerful as a, a real VT solution, um, making a virtual tabletop is not um, the primary focus of Realmworks. 
um, there's roll 20, there's found in the grounds, fantasy grounds already leading the charge in that environment. Um, but they are adding some basic stuff, so you could certainly use it. Um, and how you would do that is basically you want to bring up your um, your player view, and obviously you'd have the player view running on a second screen. All right, so we bring the player view tab up by pressing that button. All right, and we can see here this is what's currently displaying. There is nothing, and I can send it to the uh, the display I want. So I'm going to bring it back over to this screen. So here's player view. You can see there's nothing on there at the moment, but we can change that. So we'll go back over to here. We're going to enable all of the uh, the player view flags. This makes it so it can be visible, and then we're going to show in player view. So I'll just right click there, and there we go. So that brings it up straight away, and you can see that it's uh, it's now visible in the player view. And as you can imagine, if this was running on my second screen. Um, you could technically use that uh, as a VTT solution. There we go. Alright, so it's certainly a possibility. But let's go back. One of the things as a DM that you, you've got to be aware of is the maps, when they come out, um, they generally have all the information we need, right? So, specifically, uh, we can see here we've got Alter. We've got men here, we've got cans. Uh, it's, it's a labelled map, which is not what we want. All right, And you'll notice these days that the really good uh, modules and adventures are bringing out multiple versions of the maps. They're bringing a player version and a DM version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually replace this image. I do have the player version of this map, so I'll copy that in now. And I'll put that in first. All right, you can see the pins remained where they were. All right, and you can see this one here's got no labeling, which is fantastic. All right, because this one I can show to my players. All right, to show you what that looks like if the players were using it, now they don't see anything. But I still want to know, obviously, what things are. And for my purposes as the DM, I need the, the DM version of the map. And that's where we come over here, and you see this overlay image option? So you can load an overlay image. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll actually get the DM version of this map. Alright, and when that loads in, I can now see all the labels. Alright, we'll save those changes. And then we'll go and have a look at what the players see. The players don't see the labels. Alright, so this is fantastic. Realmworks have gone away and gone, alright, the DM needs all the information. The players don't need it. How can we do that? And they've added in the functionality for you to basically have both copies of it um, working on top of each other, but you don't even really even know that it's there. Um, and to, to show you, you know, how how well it works, if we reveal everything and save it, and go have a look at the player version, they're not seeing anything. All right. Now let's have a look at here and see what happens if we reveal a pin. All right, now the players can actually come up here and they can see the pin as well. All right, now this is a player uh, view, so this is designed for a second monitor, so there's nothing you can really see when you hold your mouse over that. Um, but if we were to actually enter player mode, um, and this replicates uh, a player who's actually using the, the player version of the application. All right, you can see here, Den of the Hill Giants, there's a smart image. So they can actually be using this, and they can actually then come along and see the information that's that's linked. Uh, you can even allow them to click on the link, and they'll be able to then go through and see the content. I haven't made any of the content visible to them, though, so therefore they can't see it. Uh, there's a lot of power there, and I'll do a separate video on the, uh, the player mode eventually. We'll jump out of that. But yeah, so I, I think that's pretty cool functionality right there. The ability to have the DM version and the player version of the map um, working in in sync so that you don't even really know that the functionality is there um, and that the players just naturally see the version of the map that's suitable for them to see and the DM sees the version of the map that, that's suitable for him to see. Um, that is absolutely fantastic. Um, and obviously pinning is uh, a superior quality as well, especially with this button up here that allows you to... Uh, basically transition the map over to your um, your pane over here 
and then you can actually use that to navigate around your uh, dungeon. So instead of having a massive index when you're playing, you're, you're DMing your, your, your game, you just have the map here and you click on the rooms that they go into as they go into them and it loads the content. I think that that's an absolutely fantastic feature. So obviously it's uh, it's just a really powerful tool set. Um, if you've not used Realmworks before, I seriously recommend you check it out. They're uh, gearing up for the release of the content market uh, in December, so it's going to be an exciting time to jump in and try it out. Um, but, you know, uh, that's, that's the type of functionality I think DMs should be asking for. Is it's, it's great. Very good tool. Anyway, guys, um, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, maybe there's uh, other videos you'd like to see, uh, please feel free to ask for them uh, in the comments below. And uh, have a great night.